Labadienas, sveiki susirinkėjus spaudos konferenciją, kurioje dalyvauja Lietuvos susitikimo ministras Irmantas Sinkevičius bei komisaras Simkalas. Ministrė, žodis Jums. Ministrė, dėkojus jaus. Ačiū labai. Ačiū. 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 Komisijoje, reprezentantai of the press, žurnalistai. Lietuva kaip Europos Sąjungos karybai pirmininkavo inicijatyvą. Uh, presidency of the European Council of the European, European Union. And on the 16th of September we have organized an informal meeting of the transport ministers and also a discussion on the future of the single European sky. The high-level discussion was uh, devoted to discussing the current state of the single European sky, uh, emphasizing the actions for the future. My colleagues, transport ministers from the member states and also representatives of the aviation industry expressed their support for the further development of single European sky and the functional, functional airspace blocks in order to ensure a safe and effective management of the airspace in order to achieve common goals, which are the following, to improve uh, air traffic safety, to increase the capacity of air traffic, to reduce the cost of uh, uh, the air traffic services and to reduce the negative environmental impact. Uh, the ministers also stress that it is necessary to assess the results of the current legal acts, especially having in mind that, mind that they are only starting to bring practical uh, results and their full practical potential might emerge a bit later. The transport ministers were cautious about the commission proposal to separate secondary auxiliary services from the crit critical main air traffic services and uh, the obligation to provide these strategically important uh, services in an open market conditions. The ministers also stress the social aspects related to the single sky implementation. The participants of the discussion expressed a positive evaluation of the Commission's intention to clearly define the competencies of EASA and the national authorities. However, they expressed doubts about the Commission's plan that the Member States would not participate in evaluating the target setting and the results. Uh, the represent representatives of the various institutions expressed a positive evaluation of the developments. We need to take into account their opinion as well as the opinion of the European travelers. The further development of the Single Sky Initiative is a priority for us all. In light of all this information, I personally think that it is very important to, to ensure a practical and pragmatic approach as well as the continuity of actions in this area. Thank you. Thank you. Um, of course, I have uh, little to add. But of course, uh, the discussion today was, uh, was one of the most um, lively and, and politically open and frank discussions about, um, about a very sensitive uh, project and very sensitive area, how to develop the single European sky. 
Um, this is a normal part of the process. Um, we, we should probably have more this type of discussions. Uh, now uh, we, we exchange views. Uh, there are sensitivities, Minister mentioned many of, of them, but it is now, uh, now as with all Commission proposals, which is an ambitious proposal and which um, was adopted in, in July, and uh, which uh, somehow um, uh, accommodates or, or tries to develop uh, the already existing legislation uh, to, to have a better and more rapid development of single European sky. So um, we, we exchange views. We, we work with this document. As always, it goes to a certain, certain political and, and legal manufacturing process. And I think that finally we'll, <coughs> we'll, we'll, have, a, uh, we'll have a document uh, and a program which really develops uh, uh, the, the uh, single European sky and goes, goes ahead with this project. Thank you. Hello, LNK News. I would like to give a question both to the Minister and the Commissioner. I know that after slight problems, Air Baltic uh, agreement was made. So could you please tell us more about the problems behind this uh, declaration? And maybe you could tell what impact this will have both to Lithuania and to European Union. Thank you for your question. Indeed, today uh, in the morning, a declaration was signed by Lithuania, Latvia, Co uh, Estonia, Finland. The ministers have reached a decision after very strenuous negotiations on the principles which will lead us to the real Baltic project which will join the five countries and will ensure fast-speed communication between the new member states and the old member states. There were a lot of issues that had to be addressed up until the last minute, but they were successfully resolved. And now we have the signatures of all the ministers on the table. I don't know if it's worthwhile reviewing the negotiation procedure and getting in, into detail. I think this is not reasonable anymore. You know, you asked what, uh, what problems are behind of this type of negotiations. The main problem behind of this type of, um, of uh, agreements is that there, is, there are always big difficulties when member states have to agree among themselves. I, in my being as transport commissioner, has, have been uh, witnessed uh, numerous ceremonies and, and, and always um, this, these negotiations are difficult. So member states, this is a, a landmark agreement. I think that uh, Baltic countries and Poland and Finland showed a very big willingness to compromise and to have this signature because time is, is pressing. Uh, we, we, the process is, is going, and very soon, uh, to, 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 uh, very soon, the European Commission needs a proposal, uh, application, uh, uh, and um, so, so um, this I, I highly appreciate the, the uh, commitment of all these three, five countries uh, to, to develop this project, and it um, looks quite good. Verweisen, Deutsche Verkehrszeitung, Hamburg, Germany. Uh, this is for uh, Vice President Kallas. Um, Vice President, um, the member states, and especially Germany and France, expressed already shortly after the presentation of your proposal of SES 2 Plus their unwillingness to go on with that uh, issue. What made you um, to uh, present it um, again and um, on, on, on this event, and uh, was it optimism or was it uh, had it some other reasons? Thank you. You know, uh, uh, process uh, the proposal doesn't appear from nowhere. Uh, it's it's um, 
Uh, we had the experience of uh, existing, of the, of the implementation of the concept of uh, single European sky. Uh, we, we took this experience, we tried to learn the lessons, we made a proposal uh, how to, to, um, to facilitate the creation of single European sky and, and Commission adopted this proposal. So adopted, uh, this was a Commission decision, uh, as always, consensus decision uh, in July and it, um, Germany and, and France has, have, have expressed their doubts about, uh, about this, but today it was also um, expressed a lot. You know, we had a discussion, uh, everybody shared the objectives, including France, including Germany, everybody shared the objectives that yes, compared with the United States, the European airspace is fragmented and not managed. In, in the best uh, best way, so we must do something. Now it's a question: it's what exactly and how fast, and the large variety of, of opinions about the details. Uh, the proposal was quite ambitious, is quite ambitious, and includes a lot of uh, this type of details, like uh, separation of supervision and uh, su supervision from uh, uh, service providing pr uh, provision. Uh, then um, uh, also uh, various uh, uh, possibility to, to uh, <coughs> I would say, to to have to separate auxiliary services and all these of course are, are sensitive proposals but this is not the first time when uh, uh, when commission comes with ambitious proposal i think that uh, the mood today was very clearly uh, um, directed towards the the work, the pragmatic work, is always with all proposals. We, we have had. Uh, this will be a normal process. Council, uh, European Parliament, uh, amendments, uh, objections, um, agreements. I think that uh, was important that we did this proposal. It was very important that this proposal was discussed today, and I think that um, we find necessary. We'll find necessary. Uh, compromises to to boost to to facilitate the creation of single European sky. Yes, hello, Marie Pauline Dessay for Agence Europe, also in Brussels. Um, my colleague was mentioning France and Germany um, maybe unwilling to go on with the single European two plus. I was wondering if there were other um, delegation also not so much in favour, and maybe more for the presidency if. The Lithuanian presidency going to take on board this package already during this mandate, or if it's something in the end after these discussions today, you prefer not to touch at all. Thank you. How to say it's uh, it's also a normal process that uh, all member states have something to say. So some member states were more positive, some member states more critical. It's difficult to list that this is now a list who are directly against and who, these who are directly in favour. It's um, everybody had its uh, uh, its remarks and and considerations, and we of course as a now the next step is is to to analyse these proposals, uh, these these remarks and comments, and then try to make a next um, version of this proposal. Reuters. I would like to assure you that regardless of the different positions of the member states and different attitudes, this question will remain on the agenda of the presidency country. We will continue discussing it in working party meetings, so all the discussions will go on. And we're going to draft a report in December on the progress made, and then we'll give uh, the opportunity for the Greece to follow up. Uh, I have a question to Mr. Vice President. Uh, I call, will have his, his its uh, General Assembly next week. Uh, do you expect ICAO will endorse Commission's compromise proposal on emissions trading scheme, given that uh, developing countries do not really want any uh, restrictions on expansion of air travel? And also, if the ICAO does endorse it, do you expect it to pass the European Parliament? Oh, wonderful question. Um, 
Uh, you know, it's it's a little little not so simple um, as you presented it. It's uh, yes, uh, we, we look optimistically. I will next week. I will go go also to 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 participate in this um, annual meeting, this is general assembly, not annual meeting, general assembly. Uh, and um, and we are very optimistic people who have worked with a possible compromise text of the, of the resolution have worked hard uh, every day. Uh, there are some kind of details which, um, as always, uh, which uh, uh, need to be assessed and, uh, and evaluated and modified. But, uh, but I am very optimistic that uh, we will have a, a very big, uh, very big declaration, which is uh, which um, the objective is to to reduce, or actually to not to reduce it, to to take down the possibility to have a real, real big conflict in 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 world aviation. Uh, and we have worked three years at least with with this purpose, with this objective, this purpose to to settle this uh, this conflict. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, somehow it has made all participants very nervous, and uh, I think that we. We, we find necessary compromise. So at this stage today, uh, one o'clock, a little more, I am quite optimistic. BNS. Baltic News Service. Uh, Baltic News Service. Last week, Russia has introduced a stricter controls for Lithuanian carriers, which has increased the waiting time for Lithuanian carriers. And the carriers have expressed their hope that perhaps this question will be discussed in the ministerial meeting. Was it discussed in the ministerial meeting? And in this question was not on the agenda of this informal council. It, uh, it is a lucky coincidence that uh, next to this building, a, an international conference of uh, road carriers, IRU conference, is taking place. And I think uh, this uh, question will be analyzed in, in this uh, conference as well. Last question. Uh, a question to the Vice President. Uh, how do you intend to defend uh, uh, the Lithuanian carriers against Russian sanctions, especially uh, in the light of current difficulties that our milk processes are having at the moment? European Union has been always very clear supporting its member states. It's not the first time, it's not the first member state who has been, has, has found itself in difficulties with this type of, uh, of relations. It was Finland, it was Poland, uh, and um, European Union expresses its firm, uh, firm commitment to support its member states and express their position so far uh, it has not come yet to, to our level, to, to nobody. It's first of all the Lithuanian government who, who is dealing with this issue. And, uh, and you know, also road transport is very much bilateral. It's not very much in, in, in the European uh, competence. But still, of course, politically, I can bring a numerous example during my nine years in, in the European Commission where the European Union has, um, has clearly supported its member states and uh, and helped in this type of, of uh, conflicts the last last one Jeff. thank you this is uh, very kind of you um this is uh, for the both of you gentlemen um you mentioned um that uh, the uh, member states um, put uh, social aspects on the table i would like to know what exactly these social aspects were and if the commission shares um, the um, um the concern of member states in in this point uh I would say that uh, that these questions, um, I would say I, I could not say that these were specially highlighted. 
Uh, it was mentioned among other observations, security and, uh, and national sovereignty and airspace uh, issues. It was not specially highlighted, but of course it depends also very much on, on, uh, on uh, the different social legislation in different countries. So some countries have, have, have uh, uh, one type of problems when, uh, when air traffic controllers are civil servants, some countries where they are are uh, employees of, uh, of a business entity, it's completely different. Thank you for your questions and thank you for answers.